Hey there folks, it's Josh Colbeck here for Events Coupons and today I'm back with another quick uh, video to show you one of the new integrations that we've done with Advanced Coupons and a tool called the Currency Switcher for WooCommerce. Now this is the, um, the tool that we recommend um, store owners to use. It's by a company called Aelia and if you are looking to do currency switching between different currencies and actually have your customers check out in those currencies this is definitely the most comprehensive tool on the market to, to do that kind of thing now uh, with regards to coupons in woocommerce by default they're not really too smart with uh, multi-currency situations because woocommerce itself isn't actually coded with that in mind you need to use this extension to be able to add those kind of features so the way we've integrated advanced coupons with uh, the currency switcher for WooCommerce is we've actually made our coupon amounts and, and the different features throughout advanced coupons aware of any currency switching that's going on in the background with the currency switcher for WooCommerce. So if you're using both of these plugins together, you can rest assured that your coupons will now actually be using the correct currency and giving the correct discounts based on the currency that the customer has actually selected. So let's just have a quick look here um, at the settings. So you can see I've set up in my demo site here, I've, I'm on the United States dollars as my default currency, but then I've also added in this extra uh, currency for Australian dollars. Now the exchange rate is uh, basically went for one US dollars equals $1.46. Australian and you can have it automatically update itself um, a couple of times a day if you like so I've already put all that kind of stuff in and let's just jump over to the front end of the site here you can see down on my widgets here I can change the currency and for the customer it's not very much work at all so you can see that it automatically gets the Australian dollar prices um, or the US prices depending on what we've actually selected as the currency to use for this particular cart session. Now, when you go to the cart and you go to use a coupon, um, what you also want to happen is that the coupon discounts that are being given are given with those currency points in mind as well. So if you're checking out in Australian dollars, for example, uh, and the coupon says $10 off, you actually want it to be $10 um, translated over to Australian dollars, so it'd be times 1.46. So you want it to be a little bit more. So what's that? We should be expecting uh, $10 times 1.4, whoops, 1.46. So it'd be 1460 as the discount rather than just $10. So that would be um, exactly what is expected from your customers. Let me just show you sort of how we've integrated this into a coupon. So let's do a demo coupon here. And I'm gonna use a feature in advanced coupons. Um, let's just call this currency demo. Now I'm not gonna set a coupon amount because I wanna show you this other feature in advanced coupons called add products. And what it does is it lets you add a product uh, such as some sunglasses here and you can choose what to do with the price. You could give it a percentage discount which um, which won't actually invoke the currency issues. So you know, 20% in, in Australian dollars is 20% in United States dollars. So no problems there, but the issue comes when you wanna do a fixed discount or override the price entirely. So let's demonstrate giving a fixed discount of $20. So what this will do, this module basically lets you add a product to the cart automatically for the customer when they apply the coupon. Okay, so let's add that into the table there and we'll publish this coupon. And I'll just go back there, double check that all the settings are saved. So we've got the sunglasses will get added to the cart when this coupon is applied and it should give it a $20 discount. Now that $20 is in the base currency of the site. So that would be United States dollars in this case. So let's see what happens on the front end when we go to use this coupon. So um, it's called currency demo and I'm expecting it to automatically add a pair of sunglasses to the cart and give me a $20 discount. And I've just realized I'm, I'm still in Australian dollars here. So I'm going to change this back over quickly before I explain it all. We'll change it back to United States dollars. 
So we've got the sunglasses and let's see what the original price was in United States dollars. So it's normally $90 for the sunglasses. They get added at $70. One, one unit of those is added at $70. Now, if we change to Australian dollars, what we're expecting to happen is that the $20 discount gets also translated over to Australian dollars. So let's get our calculator out again and we will compute this manually just so we can show how this is actually working. So a $90 um, sunglasses in Australian dollars should be 131.40. So we're seeing it's actually just giving the discount. Um, let's calculate what $20 in Australian dollars is. 1.46, so it should be 29.20 is the discount. So we go, um, let's just compute this menu. $90 times 1.46, which is the exchange rate. So 131 minus the converted amount in for the discount, the $20 discount, 29.20. So we end up at that 102, and there's obviously some rounding and stuff there happening because I didn't use the exact amount for the conversion. So you can see that the actual coupon itself, uh, the discount given for that particular product is also converted. So you're not just giving it a flat $20 off regardless of the currency, it's aware of the actual currency. Now this also applies throughout other parts of our, um, our tool here. So like with BOGO deals, um, you can also set, uh, say a specific product that they're getting on the BOGO deal and you'll see we also have this same price discount override thing so you can give fixed discounts or override prices and those will be actually currency aware as well um, and there's lots of other little places throughout so shipping overrides as well has the same sort of thing wherever you see this little option here to be able to get uh, override the price or give a fixed discount or whatever you need to do that's where you will um, encounter an automatic adjustment for the currency and it just happens for you. You don't need to do anything um, special to, to cater for it. It's smart enough to know when it needs to do it and it works in conjunction with the Alia uh, currency switcher tool. So that's, um, that's pretty much a quick overview of how the integration works. And if you are looking for a multi-currency tool for your WooCommerce store, I can highly recommend the currency switcher tool by Alia. Um, we use, uh, we, we recommend them to, to anybody that's asking um, our support line for, for a multi-currency solution. And now we're really proud to say that we actually integrate with these guys as well in advanced coupons. And yeah, it's a fantastic, um, fantastic way to make sure that your, your coupons are actually currency aware as well. So I hope you've enjoyed this little video and we'll see you next time.